Hello, this is Matthew from COP Technical Support. Uh, today I'm going to run through the initial setup of a simple one-to-one -one intercom system using IVMS. If you've tried the onboard wizard of the indoor station and the system hasn't become operational, then this will work as a sort of troubleshooting guide for you as well. As we can see here, I have my two inactive devices that we're just going to select and give a password. Please use a stronger password than the one that I have. Okay, so that's the two devices activated, but their IP range doesn't match what I need them to. So I'm going to turn on DHCP, and because they are intercom devices, this will turn itself back off after this has been processed so that they don't change. If they did keep changing through DHCP, we'd lose connection and the system would become inoperable fairly quickly. Let's give that another refresh. And we can see that both of our devices are now in range. So we're going to select them, hit add, username and password. And what I'd also like to do is click the synchronize time button. Time being out by hours, days, can actually cause significant issue with intercom systems. So when we add them into IVMS, we'll get rid of that step for later on, so it can't cause us an issue just by ticking that box. First things first, we're going to find our outdoor station, which is dot thirty-three, and we're just going to give it an easier name to identify in our listings. And I'm going to do the same for our indoor station. The reason for that is that if you wanted to expand on the system later on, knowing which your main devices are is half the battle. So going into the settings cog on the right hand side of our outdoor station, in this instance a KD8003 modular intercom. Now once in, we're going to go down to our device management tab on the left hand side. And then we're just going to click Add. Our drop down at the top, we want to be Indoor Station. Our Administrator Password. And our Registration Password. Now this isn't something that's been set up anywhere else. And this is used purely to link the two devices together. And will be used to link any other devices that will join into the same system later on. We'll ignore how many times I may have typed that wrong. The main indoor station serial number, we can see just up here that I've already expanded in IVMS to make it a bit larger and easier to find. So our serial number in this instance is going to be Quebec 279-19069. That's our nine characters of our serial number that we need, and then our IP address, 192 168 0, 027. Again, just getting that from up here. Default subnet mask, 255.255.255.0, and the same gateway that the property that we're in uses to connect to the internet. Now, with this being a simple one-to-one -one system, the room and floor numbers will be one and one with no change. We hit OK. Now, if I maximize this, we'll see that at the moment, that's telling us it's offline, register failed. But we can also see that it's pulled in the model number and the current version of firmware on our indoor station, which means they're starting to communicate, they're still just pairing together. What we can do to try and give this a little bit of a shove is if we now go into the settings of our indoor station, head over on the left-hand side down to network and group network settings, we can see that it's an indoor station. We're down as room one and floor one, which is exactly what we want. But we have a similar page to what we had on our outdoor station. It's asking us for our main door station IP address, which we can fill in as our other unit's IP address, so 192.168.0.33. And the same registration password, which we used earlier on. Now, this again, is just the same as the administrator password. There's no harm in it being that way around. And then we're just going to save that. 
see in the bottom right hand corner that it says saved close that down now if we head back to our outdoor station and refresh that's done it that's given it the shove that is now a functioning working one-to-one -one intercom station